So for me, it's a little bit surreal. I'm playing for two teams that he played for in one in my first go around coming over here, and I think that's pretty cool. After yeah, after high school, I attended Wake Forest for two years under Danny Manning. That was a really good two years. I think I learned a lot, even though at the time I didn't think I learned a lot. But once I stepped back and looked at it, it was it was very. I think it really helped me in the long run. And then I went to Santa Clara, played for Herb Sundek, and that was that was also a good one. That was interesting, just with COVID. COVID kind of just messed up technically my senior year. So that was that was a little bit of a roller coaster. My last two years of basketball, dirt for college, and then I was in the Netherlands last year, playing in the B Next League. I was a little bit new to that. It was, it was a new league. It was the first year that Belgium and Netherlands came together and created a joint league, B Next League. I think that was really good for me as my first professional year. Uh, very physical, European style basketball. Oh, I'm so excited because this is my first time. It's my first time I get a lick at them. They're going to see me. I'm going to give them everything I got just because I, I don't want to see you. You're going to get my best. I'm, I don't know what I'm going to get from you, but I'm going to come out and I'm going to show you something. So Runaway Bay was originally a, a club of Gold Coast and, um, and they splintered off. Uh, there was a disagreement with the manager of Gold Coast Basketball, so the group at the time, I think Greg Fox was heavily involved, um, took them away and they splintered off and became their own association. There was a lot of blood, but bad blood at that stage. And um, it's probably about 10 years or so before I came on as GM and, uh, and by that stage most people had sort of moved on so it wasn't as bad but still, there was still the town rivalry little brother big brother stuff still goes on and um and uh they're always dominating uh, qsl or sbl back of that and they always did a really good job uh, multiple um, championships and so we're always like well yeah wait till you step up to the big league and so they did and uh they haven't had a very successful tenure and um and struggled to play in the state league but uh what they haven't struggled is when they've come up against us yeah, absolutely. I mean, they call it rivalry round, and um, they do just put us with Seahawks. But f to be fair, it's true. Um, they they know that you know we're the biggest association in Queensland, and you know they've had players over the years always come to us, the juniors who want to go play with a better team, and so that just builds that resentment. And uh, and uh, listen, it's great. It's it's all in good fun, to be fair. Um, but um, it's always good to put little brother down down a peak. Jace out there on the, or pressing like I said before and most importantly have fun and enjoy it. We've got to get back to winning. 
you can't drop two games in a row, alright? It's got to be a statement from the start, the start of the year. We should have said no drop in two games. Take care of business tonight. Come out next week, Northside Logan. Yeah. Big double header, then we go play Darwin. We get a chance to actually play some teams yeah. and give them a loss and give us another win. Yeah. Those things that we speak about getting home finals, like, they play a big part in it. Let's get back to having some fun and play. Keep improving, come out next week. Yeah. 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 One, two, three. Roll.